day. I'm here. I'm excited to see all of you. The Vintage Jewelry Vault is open and I am excited to show you some gorgeous pieces that we have. I'm of course starting off right away with this fantastic vintage Heidi Douse necklace uh, that has this gorgeous waterfall effect to it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Heidi Douse jewelry, her pieces are absolutely gorgeous. They are inspired by the Art Deco era. And so you see lots of pieces that have some geometric styling to it. But what is particularly special about a lot of them is, is that they have these green gold or it's like a bronzy gold that is her signature metal color. So this is one of my all time favorite pieces that we have. Uh, like I said, this one has got one, two, three, four, five uh gorgeous strands of this sort of iolite faceted crystal and then it has these two stations that are up at the top uh, that feature a yellow citrine style with a little bit of amethyst and then it also has got some hints of citrine and peridot and i love this piece because it's really versatile like you see i'm showing you here and it hangs like a waterfall so there's a lot of flexibility in how and what you can wear with it. And then being completely honest and frank with all of you, for those of you who have different size chests, this is a great piece because it comes with a very long hook extender on the back of it. So it's really easy to be able to make it a great neck length with whatever you're wearing with it. So it's super fun. It's a beautiful piece. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you. I have it on today with the olive color uh, because I like being able to bring out the bronze colors and the olivey colors that are in the little stations here, but it pops against other beautiful colors too. So I showed you earlier when I was putting together this week's uh, kind of like the mood board or the clothing, the types of things that you could shop in your closet in order to be able to really, I know, isn't this gorgeous, the way that it lays? It just has this absolutely beautiful styling to it with that waterfall style. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hold up. This is not vintage anthropology, but it is for sure at least maybe five seasons ago. But I know a few of you, this is a HD in Paris top. Uh, I know many of you are huge anthropology fans. And if you can see that this has got those really beautiful coloring, it kind of looks like a crayon box. Uh, it's got sort of an artistic style to it. And look at how you can wear this necklace so easily against this type of pattern and still have it pop against it. In fact, you're going to bring out whatever color that you sort of see that's within the blouse, or maybe it's a floral print because we've been talking a lot about florals. Maybe it's just a lighter color, like the way that we see the cream, but you can also see the really beautiful way that you can pull out whatever color you have going on. Yes, musicians wear black, says she goes, I love anthropology. So do I, and I have a lot of vintage anthropology in my closet, uh, somewhat pieces that I have a great story about how that the very first uh, anthropology sweater I have. I still have it and I bought it at the Highland Park store when I was still nannying in college. So this is definitely one of my favorite necklaces though. You can see how beautiful it swags against a blouse and be absolutely gorgeous uh, against a beautiful dress. So there's a lot of things you can do. Miranda says she has over 250 Heidi Douse pieces and I believe it. Her pieces are absolutely addicting to collect. Not only are they very well made, but they're very unique and they have really nice workmanship again. And then Heidi really stands behind her guarantee and her warranty. I've had pieces in my personal collection from her and it doesn't matter how old they are. If you send it back to her, she will fix it if you've lost a crystal or there's something loose or something like that. She's really wonderful and very easy to work with. And so is the company if you want to ever send anything back. So this is the Heidi Naus necklace. Like I said, it's a swag waterfall style. It's very beautiful. It's got gorgeous coloring to it and it's very easy. You're going to see that you can also very easily be able to put this with denim. Uh, it would really be uh, more of a darker blue with it, but you can also see the way that it complementary goes with other colors too. I like being able to kind of pull it against the pink and the rosy colors because the purple and the rosy colors are also very complementary with each other. So yes, I got all kinds of friends. Marie is saying hello, Deborah is saying hello, Rhonda is saying hello, Jennifer is saying hello. Uh, we've got lots of friends who are joining us over on Instagram too. So thank you very much all for being here and let's continue to look at some gorgeous pieces that we have this week. 
So that is definitely, I always start out with a few of my absolute favorites. Uh, so I'm gonna next focus on, as long as we're talking about Heidi Douse and we're talking about high quality pieces, uh, but we're talking about really unique, different ones, is this piece is a, it's like a 2000. So it's not quite vintage, but this is a Joan Rivers piece. And so I had a piece of, um, earlier this week, I had a really pretty RJ Graciano necklace. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of people and myself included that I've collected a lot of pieces from QVC and HSN over the years uh, because you just can't beat the designers. The designers are awesome. Look at the way that this piece fills the neckline. And I wanted to specifically wear it tonight with olive green because olive is one of my favorite colors. And you can see, even though this has got the blues in it, it has that hint of that lemony citrine or it's got the undertone of the green and it looks so pretty against complementary shades. So this is a very fantastic piece. Again, it's another one that I like to tell people that you can feel really good about putting it with a variety of different necklines because it actually has a very long extender on it. So this is actually very close up to the top of it, but you could wear this longer too. And the benefit of being able to wear a longer necklace like this is that if you like wearing higher necks or scoop necks or boat necks or straight across, you have the ability to be able to have this still hang over your favorite blouse with whatever neckline you're using. So there's a lot of flexibility that you can use with this piece, but the colors are very dynamic and it also fills the entire neckline, which is really fantastic that if you are a statement necklace per person, you're definitely gonna get that statement look and feel. The other thing is it looks like it's a substantial piece, but it is actually very lightweight. It's very comfortable, very easy to wear. Thank you, yes it is. It's a gorgeous statement necklace. And just think of all the different colors that you could wear it with. I'm showing it with you today with green uh, because I love the green color. Uh, but I also know that this would look very awesome with just a white collared shirt with the collar popped up. It would be just a very classic, easy way to wear it. But as I was mentioning, kind of the fun part about this piece is that, uh, this one has a very long extender on it. So as I am, I wouldn't wear it this long with this neckline, but you can certainly have an appreciation for the fact that you have a lot of flexibility with how long this particular piece is. So this one will actually go all the way down here uh, if you wanna have it hang lower. And then I'm gonna use that same Paris and HD blouse that I brought down from Anthropology and show you how that you can easily be able to mix it with a variety of different colors very easily uh, and really enjoy getting to wear it with both warm tones and cool tones and bright colors. There's just a lot of different ways that you would be able to wear this piece and enjoy it. I saw a couple different people comment. If I can find another RJ Graciano necklace like that, I will for sure pass it on to you. Uh, that one was one of the ones that flew out of here super fast on Sunday. And, uh, you know, that's how it is with vintage is that if you love it, uh, grab it because you don't know when we're going to see it again. And I always have a lot of fun putting together every collection, but every collection is also a little bit different. And as I had mentioned, this week's collection is called The Vault. Uh, because these are a lot of pieces that I have held on to because I've either been studying the construction or trying to study like what kind of colors that would go best with it from a stylist perspective. Some of these pieces also were pieces that we would loan out for photo shoots and for styling events. And so they're kind of just coming back out because they were in the vault of things that we'd either loan out, uh, we were studying the construction on them, they were very different and unique to other pieces that we had, so they were a little bit more collectible. But as you can see, I'm very excited to be able to have these pieces being passed on and enjoyed by all of you. So this is now, you saw me with it with the solid color on. You can see that you can definitely be able to wear this with something that is a print as well. It's gonna bring out whatever colors you have with it. And this piece is fun because it has a little bit of geometric shape to it. So it really fills the neckline really nicely. It can be very bold bold or as bold as you want it to be. Uh, plus it has the addition of the little Diamante crystals on the bottom. So if you're like a diamond stud girl, this one's gonna go with everything else that you have 
uh, in your jewelry box. So another really gorgeous piece. Again, it looks like it's a very heavy one, but it's actually a very comfortable, very light one. So you for sure can be able to wear this one and enjoy it year round, whether the temperature heats up or you're wearing it with your cool blues. So great piece, very excited to have this one. Uh, and this one is also going to be available over at Vintage Meat Modern. So I hope that you'll go over there and take a closer look at it. All right, next up, we're talking all about necklaces. So another one that I have is I have this filigree. Uh, this is another multi-strand sort of pearl necklace. I like this one because it has a diamond cut chain on it. So with the diamond cut chain, you really get a lot of sparkle with the chain as well as with the crystals that have been woven into it. This is another piece that I love because it fills the whole neckline and it's nice and lightweight too. Another benefit of this one that I really like a lot is, is that it also has got the addition of the pearls. So again, I always like talking about the way that you could use classic fine jewelry that you might have in your jewelry box. Like I mentioned, uh, you know, the diamond studs, maybe you have a pair of gold hoops, maybe you have a pair of classic pearls. This is a great piece because you can easily mix and match it with your other fine jewelry, especially your pearls and those types of pieces. So this one's another great one. It's another one that's very lightweight. It has a very beautiful style in that it fills the neckline like that little cascade. And it's another one that's got all these little pops of color. So whether you are wearing it with a solid color like I have on, or again, we'll go ahead and we'll pull up the colored blouse. It's another one of those kind of magical pieces in that when you put it on with whatever you're going to put it on, with it's going to be able to naturally be able to go with a lot that you wear. So whether you're wearing neutrals and solids or you're somebody like me who has a very large collection of both, uh, you can see that you can easily be able to pull out whatever colors you're putting it with and really enjoy the fact that the crystals will always complement with whatever colors you have going on. And so this is a perfect example. This blouse has got a little bit of everything in it, but you can see the way that the colors will really pop even against something. It's the type of piece that it's not going to be so muted that it's going to get lost. The other great part about it is, is that it looks very nice against the skin. And so whether you're a darker complexion or a lighter complexion, this is one that will complement all kinds of skin tones. So huge fan of this one and it is worth being able to take the time to make sure the strands line up when you put them on uh, because it just lays so lovely with those little filigree strands and the little pearls. And I just, you know, I got to tilt it just a little bit so you can catch all the sparkle. So pretty, such a pretty piece. So that one is another one of my favorites that we have this week. But now I'm going to show you one of my really, really, really favorites. So I talked a little bit about this one yesterday and what a fun piece this one is because it kind of has that art deco 1920s 1930s lariat style you can picture it being wrapped around with some pearls and a flapper but the cool part about it is it has this 1960s 1970s chain mail mesh which was of course made famous by Whiting and Davis. So if you have some other chain mail purses, they can go all the way back to the 1920s, 1930s era. Uh, and maybe some of you know that in the 60s and the 70s, they were very popular for having those very large bib necklaces. But this is the first time I've ever had one of these Whiting and Davis pieces that's an actual lariat, which is really cool. The other thing is, it's really long. So you could even enjoy wearing this one wrapped around as a belt if you had a small enough waist. But a fun part about it is, is lariats are always great. You can do so much with them. You can wrap them around over and over again and have them fill the center of your neckline. You can take them and you can slip it through like a knot. You can go ahead and you can wrap it around the same way that you would like a scarf or you could wrap it around the same way that you would do like a traditional pearl lariat and you put it right through the loop and then you can adjust the tassels to wherever you want them to be, which is a super fun way. And then of course you can wear it long, which is also awesome. You can wear it long and you can just knot it all up and enjoy it. And then you can play with the knot wherever you want to hit you with your neckline. 
And then of course, it's very sexy to put it right down the back as well. So if you've got a backless dress, uh, if you've got something where you wanna really bring attention to something going across the back, there's just a lot of different things that you can do with these classic lariats. And this one's really neat because the other thing that's really cool about it is, is that it's unlike other lariats, it's got that flat chain style. So this one's a very unique, very special piece. I've never had a Whiting and Davis lariat before. Uh, it definitely would be a great piece to have anyone have in their collection, especially collectors. And what's also nice is that here on the very bottom of it, these little pieces that you see that's part of the chain mail, they're actually tassels. And you know, tassel jewelry is always very popular here at Vintage Meat Modern. So this is another really awesome, great piece. Definitely one that you can enjoy and wear over and over again. You'll have lots of fun with it and it'll go with other classic gold jewelry that you have. And as long as we're talking about that, Another piece that I've never had before, this is a Whiting and Davis Zodiac bracelet. Uh, again, another famous style design that they have, the coiled mesh bracelets. And this one's got the Sagittarius going across it. Uh, many of you might have some of their pieces that have the snake. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever had one that has had any of the Zodiac symbols on it. So this one's a really cool piece. It's a nice lightweight piece. It wraps around, you know, just once with the bypass style. It has no wear to the plating whatsoever. So it's another super cool piece. Uh, and it's just got really great feeling to it, too. So if you love uh, the classic chain mail style, this is definitely another one that's a really cool piece to add to your collection. So I would definitely take a closer look at this one. All right. Up next, we have something that's a little daintier. Uh, we have a vintage Avon necklace that features a little amethyst colored stone. And this one, for those of you who like that more 1980s style, which is definitely coming back in. So, you know, we're thinking of our dynasty and Dallas, although they were much bolder pieces. But when we think of the lines and the styling that became so popular, I always have to play with it because remember the camera always does it at a different angle than I do it. So this is that little petite Avon necklace. There we go. It lays on a flat chain. Oh my gosh, I've got to get this straight. There we go. Uh, so this one lays on a flat chain and it has some little beautiful little purple crystals that are in it. I liked this one. Again, I'm gonna just hold this one back up for a second with the Heidi Douse piece. If you like to be able to layer pieces, this is a great layering piece. Uh, it fills the neckline very nice at the top. And then of course it has that beautiful sort of soft accentuation where it comes to the V which is going to elongate your neck. Uh, it's naturally going to do that. And it's also naturally going to create a line down your center, which will make you feel thinner and taller. Uh, and it will accentuate what you want it to accentuate because it's a higher neck piece. It's not super lay low. So it's not hanging in your cleavage or anything like that. But it's a really easy piece to be able to wear. It also has the look of fine jewelry, which is also one of those great things to know about vintage Avon jewelry is it's very high quality. Um, people assume Avon and they just think of the Avon jewelry, uh, but it's true. Their jewelry was always designed by higher end designers. You know, you've heard me talk about it before. Kenneth J. Lane worked with them. Elizabeth Taylor worked with them. Jose and Maria Barrera worked with them. So some of the very well-known jewelry designers that you know and love, they actually helped create designs for Avon throughout the years. So the quality of the pieces are really worth it. And they really do hold uh, the styling that they have in terms of the plating as well as the setting of the stones. So, and many of them are just fun classic pieces. They like never go out of style. But I like this one because it's a little daintier piece. So it's easy to wear every day. I mean, I of course like like the big gigantic statement necklaces like I was showing you with the Heidi Dows. But if you like wearing something that's a little daintier, we've got a little something for everyone. So I really like that piece too. This one is another great find that we have this week. So we've been talking a lot about necklaces and I think I'll kind of talk about a few more that we have. Uh, and then we'll talk about some of the pretty earrings that we have this week. Of course, I'm getting that point now where I'm very nervous that I'm not going to be able to get this piece off on camera. You all know that I have anxiety over doing that. And uh, it's possible that maybe it's gonna stay on for a while. So we're gonna try that one on, but next we're gonna take a look at 
Uh, we've got a really gorgeous, I will show a picture of this with me with the navy blouse that I wore earlier today. And this is the V neck fold over gold necklace. And I like this one because this one lays again very nicely. It has a snap back, it has a fold over snap back clasp. And this one's another great one because it lays very nicely against the neck. And I'm sorry that I'm showing it with the Avon piece at the same time. Uh, but I know that I'm going to get the clasp stuck in my hair if I try to do it at the same time. So, uh, so this one lays very nice, very flat. For those of you, the other thing I like about this one is it's a more pale tone gold versus the bright gold tone. Uh, so for those of you who like being able to have something that is more of a pale gold tone, you can see how nice that this also looks with the olive color. Uh, and it's another one that I'm gonna show you when I hold up the patterned blouse. We'll just fill the neckline on any kind of style or piece that you have. And for those of you, I know I got a couple messages today. I was so busy getting ready for tonight, uh, as well as we were finishing up the blog post that we did about our makeup when we were talking about last night. I just did not get a chance to answer all of the messages today, but I am going to get to them after I do my show. So, so now I'm going to show you, like we had looked at that gold necklace just a moment ago. You can see how this one also lends itself very nicely to any kind of classic pattern that you like. Uh, and like I said, this one has just got a very flattering design. So it'll fill your neckline and it'll lay flat, very pretty. So it's a great piece. It's a great staple piece if you're looking for something to just have like a standby necklace that you can just dress up or you can dress down. Uh, this one is definitely a great piece to take a closer look at because you'll enjoy it. You really will. This is another one of those pieces that's like, a great lipstick. Uh, you'll just put it on and you'll feel beautiful whenever you wear it. Uh, and you'll totally enjoy being able to wear it with both your fine jewelry and you can wear it with a variety of patterns, colors, solids, you name it. You'll be able to add this one and always feel polished and ready to take on the world while you wear it. So that's another great piece that we have this week that we I really enjoy. And now we'll talk a little bit about, since I've got the green color on today, I i don't know, I mean, maybe it's St. Patrick's Day that was coming up that I was motivated and excited to wear the green. Also, this collection was very popular, so I want to thank you all for that. I mean, the flower pieces, like, people went crazy for them. So I also have a very pretty pair of ear crawler sort of statement style earrings. This is a vintage Juliana with these little colors. Um, again, another great multicolor piece. You can see this one looks really pretty with your, your solid color with the olive. You're gonna bring out the really pretty green color that you can see, but you're also gonna see the way the complementary colors will pop against whatever you have it with. But if I go ahead and if I hold it up again to the colorful blouse, if you have a colorful blouse or a colorful pattern dress or something that's got some flowers or anything like that, this is the perfect earring to complement something colorful. You're going to still be able to see the colors as well as you're going to bring the focus of whatever the colors are in your top or your dress up to the complementary styling that you have on your face. So this is another great pair. Goes with a lot of different things. Very easy to be able to enjoy. You can see the way that the colors go so pretty with this blouse. So lots of different ways to be able to wear this one and enjoy these. These are great pair of classic statement earrings. And as long as I'm talking about that, uh, we've got also a very pair, pretty pair of Venetian glass earrings. So what's awesome with these, yes, Jewelry Navigator says so springy. Exactly. And we have had so many great floral pieces this week. And so I do think that everybody has got spring on their mind for sure. So we've got a beautiful pair of earrings that feature the Venetian glass. These have got the lamp work and you can see it's got the swirls of gold, has a little bit of blue, a hint of pink. Uh, these are traditional, your Venetian wedding cake earrings. They're made in Italy. Uh, and this is a nice kind of button shape. And you know, I have it on with the olive green and you can see the way that it'll just naturally make my outfit look a little bit more springy. A uh, little bit brighter in the color, especially since the white pops. But again, I've been using this floral blouse or the abstract colored blouse so much tonight to be able to show the variation of being able to wear all the jewelry that we're really offering this week with both solid colors as well as with something with a pattern on it. So, and if I'm looking away, earrings are absolutely the hardest 
uh, to be able to show uh, as well as being able to talk to you at the same time because they get lost when you're looking head on. But if you get a glimpse of them from the side, you can definitely see and appreciate the size and the scale and the different kinds of colors that they have. So just a really beautiful, unique styling to this one. And I personally connect, collect a lot of lamp work pieces. So this one's a fun one to be able to add to your collection, especially because it really does have that really pretty springy look. So we've got those. Those are a pretty pair of earrings we have this week. Uh, we also, we've got a very pretty pair of shades of purple. So this one features kind of an iris color uh, as well as it's got a deeper amethyst color. And then they have like bi-colored rhinestones too and their dog tooth prong set. This one is set in a gold tone, but it's a very pale gold tone. So you don't have to think it's gonna be super, super bright. I'm looking to see if I can find the match on here. Here it is. Uh, these are a nice one too. You can see I have them on with the green. I love the way that green and purple go together. And then also I have my bright pink lipstick on tonight. I love the way that you can also wear pinks and purples, uh, very complimentary up against your face coloring, especially if you're like me, who has naturally rosy cheeks and naturally pink cheeks or pink lips. Uh, these are a nice size and nice scale. And it's kind of cool because if you take a closer look at them over on the website, you'll see that this one stone that kind of falls in the middle is actually like an iris. It's a bicolor rhinestone. So it's a nice one to be able to use and mix with other kinds of different colors and clothing. And then again, if I go ahead and I bring up my blouse, you can go ahead and see how easy it is to be able to mix this purpley color with both your patterns too. So another really fun piece that we have and statement earrings are always so fabulous. They never go out of style. They're so easy to wear. And the earrings we have are so different uh, than any of the ones that you can just stroll on through and pick up at your, you know, your favorite department store, which makes them that much more special. And we're always working hard to bring you the pieces that are of the highest quality, uh, as well as just completely, totally wearable. That's the whole point behind Vintage Meet Modern. It's being able to wear your vintage jewelry with what modern women actually have hanging in their closet. So I'm not, you are the special occasion. That's just like what I always tell people. Don't wait for a special occasion. You wear it because you can today. So I think as people are beginning to go back out more in the world, I'm getting ready to do a speaking assignment. And I'm talking all about how to reemerge uh, after so many of us have been spending the last few months sort of uh, behind the scenes doing all our Zoom calls and things like that. And so I know a lot of people are feeling like, how am I going to get back into the swing of things? They want to get back in the swing of things, but now they feel that they're in a bit of a style rut. So I'll be sharing lots of information and details on how you can break out of your style rut uh, as you reemerge and you start doing more again, as well as you'll have an opportunity to really freshen up your look for spring as well, too. So I also have these sweet little pansy earrings. We have those gorgeous large thermoset. They were like a little heart with like little daisies. Those sold today. They were one of my favorite pairs. But if you're looking for something a little smaller in scale, we have these little lucite pansies that are dotted with the little rhinestones in the center. As I mentioned, flowers have been hot, hot, hot here. So if you're looking for some sweet little floral earrings, this is a fabulous pair that we have this week. Uh, very easy to wear and obviously you're going to go with everything. So whether you're wearing uh, darker colored solids like I have on or you're wearing something with patterns, these also look really cute with polka dots, uh, both red, pink and classic black and white. So if you like that kind of little bit of a preppy look with the different kinds of polka dots, these are very sweet. The other thing that I wanted to point out about them is for those of you who are Lily Pulitzer fans, they totally look very lily. So for those of you who like the tropical style or like the pieces that have like the lots of the blues and the turquoise, there's just so many fun different kinds of patterns that you would be able to wear with these. So whether you're looking for something that's more a little bit more kitschy, cool, retro, uh, like your 1950s style, or if you're looking for something that has more of the preppy classic styling, you can definitely be able to do that. And they're just the right size and scale. And I cannot em empathize enough. They're like paper lights. They're so light. So if you're not used to wearing clip earrings, this is actually probably one of the perfect pairs to start with because they're super light and they don't pinch the ears at all. They're really beautiful. So yeah, so thank you, uh, Jewelry Navigator, who was saying they're so fun. They are so fun. That's the best part about vintage jewelry. It is fun. It should make you smile. It should make you happy. 
Uh, we also, we've got several really gorgeous, uh, beautiful pieces. We've got some, Deb said, I bought this beauty. I couldn't resist any longer. Well, I'll go and look and see which piece that you have uh, afterwards. Um, I'm so happy and thank you. That's a perfect example. Things move pretty fast around here. So if you love it, grab it. Uh, we've got a very nice pinwheel brooch. And then also we have got a little leaf brooch that features these really beautiful colors. Again, people ask me about, can you pull off these types of styles in the spring season? Of course you can. So these are both pieces that, as you can see, they look great against the olivey color as I hold this up. But again, I've been using this blouse as an example all night of how you can make these really beautiful pinks and purples pop against different kinds of colors, whether it's a floral or an abstract design. Just so pretty the way that you can be able to pick up on all the beautiful colors that really makes vintage jewelry also very special as the colors are just very dynamic and they're not like the colors that you find every place else. And the rhinestones are very high quality. So that's the reason why you see such a fabulous sparkle, you know, for pieces that are 50, 60, 70 years old, just very high quality pieces. And as I mentioned, you know, like I said, you can see the way that these pieces really complement your colors and your patterns so beautifully. So we've got another gorgeous piece here. And I love showing you how these different colors that you could definitely put it with, as well as, like I said, floral patterns and floral jewelry here has been hot, hot, hot. Uh, so you can easily be able to see that if you can picture this as one of the floral prints you have, there's lots of jewelry options to be able to wear them with. All right, I think we have just a couple more pieces to go. And like I mentioned, this collection has been hot, hot, hot. Another Venetian glass piece that we have this week. This one features this beautiful vintage Venetian glass. These are very beautiful turquoise beads and they actually have a gold uh, that's running around them, sort of a Murano glass style. Beautiful lamp work again. This is a very classic blue toned bracelet. And again, I like showing you the way that it goes very nicely with both a solid, uh, as well as very beautifully as it goes with the pattern. So I love this because it's actually contrasting this really fun green color that I have on today that's very easy to be able to wear. It's got a nice natural look and feel to it, uh, but we definitely can see the way that the colors will pop with anything. And again, using that blouse that I have up today from Vintage Anthropology, you can see the way that you can pull out any of the colors that you'd really like to. So these are all excellent choices of some fun pieces that we have. And this looks great with denim and a classic white shirt too. We also have got some pretty pink rhinestone pieces. This is that classic little sweet little pink rhinestone bracelet that we have. Pink is always in style. Lots of people love pink jewelry here. Pink is one of my favorites. Uh, so this one's another nice little sweetie. Very easy to be able to put on. Uh, even for a rhinestone for wearing something in daytime, it's absolutely perfect. And it just has the most beautiful soft pink color. Look at how pretty it looks even with the green. So whether you're wearing this one with solids or patterns, this one looks and feels like spring. So another great fun piece. This one's another one of those ones that stuff definitely perfectly vintage meat modern. Uh, so easy to be able to mix it with other vintage pieces like the little Venetian glass pieces, uh, you know, be able to fix it up with other rhinestone pieces. Just lots of fun, lots and lots of fun. You can wear it, you know, with the different shades of pink. And then, of course, we have that lovely pink and pearl brooch. Again, look at how pretty that looks against the green. So pretty. So pretty. This gorgeous pink and pearl brooch against the green. Just awesome, awesome, awesome color combination. And the brooch really, really pops with those little beautiful classic pearl details, too. And so, yeah, you can see how pretty it looks with the pinks. And then again, if we hold it up and we put it against the pattern, you can see how pretty it looks with the patterns too. You can pull out whatever color you want and you can make it as complimentary as you need it to be. Uh, and you can pull out whatever color that you want to have with it. So that's it. We have got a lot of gorgeous pieces this week. Uh, I can't believe that we've already gone through the tray. It's hard for me to pick a favorite. Uh, I do... I am going to play favorites in that the Heidi Douse piece that I had uh, at the very beginning of the night on is, is definitely one of the most outstanding pieces that we've had. And it's definitely one of the most outstanding pieces that we have tonight. So I'm definitely very partial to that piece. 
Uh, if not, like I said, I like the way that this one fills the neckline. It's a gorgeous piece with all kinds of colors. And, you know, I've got an entire tray full of gorgeous pieces that are waiting for you to take them home and make them your own and enjoy them during the spring season. I am so happy to see so many gorgeous pieces and styles that are available this spring. Uh, so much emphasis on beautiful colors and floral fabrics, just very delightful. So it's really easy to see why all these vintage jewelry pieces just go so naturally with so many of the things that you do see, whether you're perusing online or beginning to stroll through the stores. So I really got to enjoy spending some time with you this evening. I hope you enjoy this collection. Like I said, this is part of the vault collection. So I was really pulling out some pieces that you've never seen and some styles that we don't usually get here at Vintage Meat Modern 2. You know, like I was showing you that Joan Rivers piece that's a larger bib style. You know, I don't add as many of these to the collection. So it's fun to be able to kind of change it up and give you girls something different and something to be able to enjoy. And of course, I want everything to be there for the perfect person. I always say the perfect piece goes to the perfect person. And I truly do mean that. So thank you. I am so glad so many of you tuned in and joined us tonight. It's always an honor to get to spend some time with you. I do appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. Uh, it is always celebrating the joy of jewelry together. That's what it's all about. I love that so many of these pieces make you smile. But what makes me smile the most is that knowing so many of you connect with each other through Vintage Meat Modern. You celebrate your love of jewelry. You celebrate your love of all things vintage, uh, which just makes it very, truly wonderful and delightful. And I'm glad that in this world that has so much going on, we can take some time to be together and just feel pretty and elegant and ready to take on the world. It's always about supporting people. And I love the fact that when you wear pieces from Vintage Meat Modern, it's kind of like our own little secret language where we're supporting each other. Uh, you know, it's like, you know that you've got a piece of vintage meat modern on and then there's another special woman that has got a piece of vintage meat modern on on her too. So that's it. So we have got a lot of gorgeous pieces. For those of you who joined us last night over my private Facebook group and we were talking about makeup, that blog post with the links is going to be out soon. But between now and then, I want you to head on over to Vintage Meat Modern. I want you to take a look at the new arrivals and see if something there piques your fancy. I'm sure there will be something that will. For those of you who placed orders, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, we truly appreciate it. It means more than you know. And on that note, I'm going to remind all of you to truly take time to celebrate your inner sparkle so you can truly let your personal style shine. My wish is for all of you to look and feel your best every day. And if you can do that with a little bit of sparkle that's unique to you, that's the important thing. Because when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And the world needs more of you in it. So everyone have a fantastic evening. It was so nice getting to spend time with you. Head on over to VMM and see and take a look at what's new. Uh, and everybody, I know I'll see you all again real soon. So have a fantastic evening and I'll see you all again real soon. Bye.